Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode today. Well, we just got done eating Taco Bell. And uh, hey, we got the trailer with us. And we just dropped off the llama. If you guys missed those videos, well, you know, we bought a llama. Thought it'd be cool. I needed to buy this llama. Bought it, brought it back. It ended up attacking Steve, our alpaca, ripping a huge hole in its leg. Had to get it stitches. And so we basically loaded the llama back up and took it back. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. We, with uh, with the whole process of animals. So we're like, well, we just bought an animal. Then we returned it. So therefore we need to go buy more animals. So we're thinking, we're gonna go try to buy some pigs. Something that we've tried to buy many times or we've wanted to buy many times we just never really have so we already have this trailer and figured what a better time to get some pigs there's also a place that has some hay we're about out of hay so we might load this like half with hay half with pigs but we're starting off at well you guys can see but we're at Orsland's we're gonna run in and get everything you need for raising pigs now I've never raised pigs before I mean well I mean, we had some down at the farm last year but I didn't really raise them I just kind of like looked at them and filmed them but that was pretty much it so we're gonna run in here get all the feed and feeders and waters and everything we need and then run over to Walmart so one thing I know about pigs is they love of marshmallows and like sweet stuff like Twinkies and stuff. pigs pretty much eat anything so we're gonna go buy some really cool uh, basically food for them some treats snack uh, for them as well and then we're gonna head off go buy some hay go get some pigs bring them back and uh, we're gonna have some new members of the uh, of the farm here hopefully soon today so you guys stay tuned all right so a couple things like I said we need we need feed feeders um, probably some shavings go left. um yeah yeah take a take a hard left here oh these are the bins I bought a bunch of these bins the other day so we're good oh there's my rotary tiller we need one of those because we we need to replant a bunch of grass. Should we buy some of that? Should we buy this? Should we buy this or no? Before we need to replant a lot of grass. So do you think if we get that, we have a lot of seeds? Yeah, I don't know if you need like chungus. Do you? I don't know. Like the like little the one, one, you I feel like you can just kind of like oh, eat around a little grass, bit. Yeah. yeah, cause we only we don't have too many ships. So basically, like we're trying to move these animals. We're trying to build a big pen right now. So we need to like put the animals on one side and then regrow the grass on the other. And then when it's grown, flip them, do the same thing. Cause right now we just we our grass is just not looking good. I'm trying to decide. Should we buy it? So we can plant do? watermelons seven and stuff. Dollars. Seven, yeah, exactly. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah, and you can also use it for gardens too. Yeah, so yeah. like. If we're trying to rip carrot, on some like carrot gardens, like yeah, dude, you love the carrots. You, you big fan of the carrot gardens? Yeah, yeah. You growing a lot of carrots in your life? No, but so you made it sound like you're like, <laughs> like actually Why the you just thing... say gardens. He said carrot gardens. He's a, he's 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 specific with the carrot gardens. But you're right, carrot garden would be dope. Okay, so let's get it. <laughs> our garden last year. Okay, so hey, our, our garden ripped last year. Yeah, for about a day until we never watered. it. <laughs> we didn't it. water it, but listen, we live there now, That's so no problem. Yeah, I I, I say we just get this guy. This guy. Sure. Oh snap! What do they got? They got barred rock pullets. Look at those little guys. Cute as hell. They got any other things? Nothing over there. Nope, just these guys. Look at them. They're so cute. Hey, little guys. They're bar barred rock. Pretty sure barred rock is it's what Marty is. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Not thousand percent. Little oh, chick. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Nah, we're not getting any more animals. Well, we are, but not these guys. Should we get this thing? This has goats, sheep, and cows on it. All right, we're gonna get these guys. I see. Don't you love when I come to these stores and buy stuff that has nothing to do with what we're doing today? There's certain things that cows can have and other animals can't. Vice versa. This is a four percent phosphorus mineral beef dairy cattle pasture sheep goats on pasture all class of horses so pretty much as long as it doesn't kill our animals we'll be good oh god there we go we need more all stock or how much do we have left i don't think we had any boom or hog grower finisher pellets so you don't want finisher pellets no. piglet piglet yeah Perform it for all life stages all right we're gonna need a bunch of this though. yeah Here we go. All right. That's what this. We're good. Oh, hot. Rip to the Mondo Optic. That's a totally different object. Yeah. Alright, so we made it to Walmart. We got everything we need. We actually got a lot more. We ended up getting a freaking garden tiller. Hooking once a carrot garden, I guess. And we need to replant some grass. Uh, and we got a bunch of hog feed, hog feeder, and automatic water. Some all stock feed, basically sweet feed for the rest of the animals. And some mealworms for the chickens. I think there's probably some other stuff too. So, we're going to Walmart, like I said. There's actually two different people that are that have pigs for sale. One of them's close to here, one of them like two hours away. So we're trying to get the person that's close to here to respond, but they're not responding. So we're not sure how far we're gonna have to go for the pigs. But like I said, we're here to get them some snacks, some treats and uh, some more, you know, just human food. Whatever pigs are gonna think they're gonna want. And uh, we're gonna see, what, do you, what if you were to guess, what would a pig want? Uh, you think like a Twinkie? Uh, like, yeah, they might be a big Twinkie. They, they like marshmallows, don't they? Yeah, and what else? If you were a pig, what would you want to stick in your mouth? What about those like chocolate marshmallow bunny things? 
Ooh. Those Easter bunnies. True. East, it's past Easter. You think yeah. Easter stuff will be on sale? Yeah. What oh, if we get yeah, a, it will. We what if we get a bargain? Oh, yeah. Easter stuff's going to be on clearance. So, well, let's see what we can find. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, whoa. Hang on. I see it way back here. We got the giant roasters. I mean, you think they'll choke? That's a small We can cut them up always. Oh, yeah. Also, Hookin' was on cupcake duty, so we got cupcakes. Should we just get some? What, oh, let's just get normal size then. Because uh, they might choke. Small. Yeah. They might be small. We're not sure how they're bigger than me. I know they like marshmallows, and who doesn't love a freaking cupcake? Like I said, we're just getting a few snacks if you guys have any treats that you know pigs like comment them down below and we'll get them for next time all right folks well you know we got a little sketched out that Walmart we've been kicked out of several times so I wasn't trying to be a pain but uh, basically uh, we got what do we get can we got we got some Twinkies right you yeah. killing it back there what, yeah. what do we, we show the folks at home marshmallows we got marshmallows yep they've seen that Twinkies okay Twinkies yep apples yep apples oranges watermelon oh yeah and a watermelon mini yeah. watermelon some little cutie oranges yeah little orange some cupcakes Give me one of those. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry too. Let me try these fire cupcakes. We actually found. Oh god, I'm switching lanes unknowingly. All right, we're good. We are going to go pick up the pigs right now. We found somebody that was 13 minutes away from where we were in Walmart, which is dope. And uh, so we're gonna go pick up the pigs, and then we're gonna go get hay. Uh, it's just a little bit north of here is where the hay is. Just we have enough. The hay is not for the pigs necessarily. It's just just in general, we need uh, some hay. How's that? Is it fine? Is it absolutely amazing? Yeah, actually I do. But anyways, we're gonna head to the pig farm now and uh, I really know nothing about what these pigs look like. Never seen a picture of them. Just some random dude that I called from Craigslist. So what could go wrong there? Hey, at least we got four beefcakes here in case things get squirrely, but you guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, we finally made it. I know we didn't really film much, um, but basically we got pigs and we got a bunch of hay. So I'll show you guys real quick. We got two little oinkers in here and like 30 bales of hay. Where are they at? Look at them guys. What up little oinkers? How you doing? They're just chilling. So we uh like I said we got a bunch of hay, we got the pigs, they're just doing pig things, I guess. Um, so kind of show you what we're thinking as far as their pens. We want to put them in Rick's pen. So if you guys get if you're new to the channel, you might not know what I'm talking about. But this was the OG goat pen that we had all the goats live in, and then we put all the other goats over there, sold Felipe, kept Rick here, and then as of recently, we actually just moved Rick over there because he's been behaving. But this is basically the pen, and the reason why I like it is because this is a really good enclosure. I mean, it's waterproof, it's sealed up, it looks good. Um, and we've got perfect, you know, size, especially for two pigs. I mean, this is plenty of space, and there's already electric fence hooked up which is good because basically we're gonna have them live in here for probably two three weeks and then once they're used to the electric fence you move this and build a new one and i want to build a new electric fence like a way down in those trees so that way they can be in the shade and kind of root up all the the grass stuff because we don't really do anything over there anyway so it's like might as well let pigs hang out and they used to have i believe they used to have the pigs sitting over there but this silo is where we want them to stay the only problem is this thing has look how much this is the concrete floor i mean it's like look how much and it's not hay it's straw by the way it's not actually hay so they can't eat it. I mean, it's this is a lot. You know how long it would take to shovel all this out that door? I mean, hours. Too much time. And like, could we have the pigs stay in this? Yeah, because there's probably not that much poop and pee. They're not going to get diseases. But I would rather clean it out now when it's nice and fresh and clean than when there's much of hog pee and poop in it, I guess, if that makes sense. So here's what we're thinking. Now, I don't know if it's a good idea. And some of you guys watching are probably like, don't do it. Please don't do it. But guess what? I'm going to do it. We're going to light this whole thing on fire. Um, I called Kyle and asked him if he thought it was a good idea. He's like, hey, what's the worst that can happen? I'm like, yeah. You're right. I mean, worst case, this silo gets burned down. I don't know. Go build and we'll have to build a new enclosure or something. That's another video, I guess. Building the building the hog enclosure. I mean, for only two pigs, you can make anything really work for a pig enclosure for two. I mean, I don't want to ruin this thing, but as bad as I don't want to ruin it, I don't want to clean it out with a shovel even more bad. That makes sense. Either way, we're going to light this sucker on fire. I mean, this is lots and lots. Of, I mean, this is probably, I don't know, 10, 12, 15. I mean, these, those, that's even good straw right there. All throughout here, we're going to take this hay. This is good hay too uh, for the, for the animals to eat. But pretty much we're going to light this thing on fire. Before we do that though, see, I don't know, like, is that what this thing's made at? I don't see. I don't know what that is. Is this thing flammable? Is this whole thing flammable? We might burn this whole thing down. We need to get the, uh, the little hatch up top uh, taken out, but then we're also going to take Take all this wood, the table, all this stuff, and we'll probably take it over there so the ghosts can play with it and just clean this out. Meaning, more than likely, the pigs aren't going to stay here tonight, which is fine. They can stay in the trailer one night. We'll give them feed water. They'll be chilling. Uh, it's not like it's going to be cold either. Um, so we'll do that. And then I'm hoping this is the most efficient way. I could definitely regret it. This could be kind of one of those, well, that was a dumb moment. But hey, we have plenty of those on the farm. So you go ahead there, buddy. Um, yeah, that hatch. You want to you wanna try to give her hell? There you go. Yep. 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 There you go. Yes, sir. There you see. We got hooking around here for some reason. Looking good, buddy. That uh, that, yeah, that, that'll work. I mean, that's that's enough ventilation. Yeah. You're good. You can go ahead and hop on down. Yep, probably wouldn't do it that way. All right, so well, let's uh, first things first. Let's get uh, let's get this stuff out of here, and then we'll light this on fire. And while it's on fire, we'll unload the hay, and uh, life will be good. So 
so we got her all cleaned out. Look at this. Woo! Empty. Now comes the fun part. We gotta play a fire. This is, is the garden hose over here and ready? Bonzo's gonna be a firefighter. He's always wanted to be a firefighter, so. So here we go. We are going to light this sucker on fire. We got a little bit of cardboard in there to help start it, so I'm just gonna light that cardboard. And uh, I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna burn. Some of you guys watching that know how well it's gonna burn. I'm probably gonna say, hey, it ain't gonna burn at all, or hey, this thing's about to be freaking flowing like crazy. Uh, I mean, I don't really think there's a threat of it, you know, burning anything else. Like all this stuff is nice and green, and like I said, it's on a concrete base, so it's not like it can go out there. And I mean, we'll see. It might start this whole farm on fire, but you guys stay tuned. Getting the old cardboard lit up here. I think this is probably the safest way. A little pre-light. Toss it in there and let it go. Alright, here we go. Rip. Well, let's see if it starts. Oh yeah, the straw's starting. Oh god. This straw is pretty darn flammable. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I threw a little just a little piece of cardboard and it's lighting the whole thing up. Oh yeah, she's burning away, folks. Burning some nice straw. Like I said, I don't know if it's the smartest idea, but it'll probably save us some time. Maybe it won't. Maybe these ashes are gonna be an absolute pain to clean up and wash down. And maybe this was just maybe this was just a terrible idea and we should have just taken the one hour it would have taken to shovel this all out. But you know what? This is all for you guys. Your guys' enjoyment. We'll see. See if this works. Oh god, yeah. She's giving her hell now. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna be any more efficient than just cleaning it, but hey. At least it's a little bit. I mean, it's an, it's kind of cold out here. It kind of feels neat. It's nice and warm. Yeah, I would say the uh, <laughs> the metal is probably expanding when it starts making them sounds. Yeah. Probably probably just stand back just a little bit. You can hear everything get heated up. It's like a huge oven. We should have brought marshmallow. Oh God, look at it catch. Oh oh God. I mean, there's no going back now, boys. Shoo! Oh, we should go get our marshmallows and roast. Probably not the best thing to do over animal feces, but oh my God, look at it's it. It's like a oh, wow. tornado. Oh, cause yeah, the, the, all the yeah. air's getting. So oh my God. Wow. How close is this hose? Right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, this is wow. Be nice. <laughs> hey, quit fighting. Cheese and rice. Well, we got the hay unloaded. We're gonna we're gonna let these guys sleep in the in this trailer tonight. It ain't gonna get cold. We're gonna leave this in here. We're gonna bring some food and water. Um, kind of just let them show. Obviously, we gotta wait for the silo to really burn through, clean it all out. We'll wash it out tomorrow morning. The dark color one keeps beating up on this guy. I'm gonna name this llama and this alpaca. Yeah, seriously. Hey, 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 quit hey, fighting. Hey, quit fighting. Hey, hey, you go hey, over here. Quit fighting. Move. Go over there. Come here. No, move. Look at this. This is ridiculous. You got blood on you. Was he beating you up? Just relax. They don't. They don't mind us though. They like. No, they're, they're better than I thought they would be. Yeah. Oh yeah. You just. This guy's got a little attitude. Yeah. Might be. Might be some bacon here soon. Soon enough. We'll see. Well, we're we're trying to make sure these guys are comfortable, making sure they realize, hey, we're their friends. Uh, they're not food yet, and uh, we're just gonna kind of hang out with them for a little bit. That that silo's still burning. I mean, the amount of smoke that's getting billowed out is absolutely insane. It's, hey, don't bite my foot. God, just freaking nibble. He just took a chunk right out my boot for no reason. No, you can't get out that way. You want some snacks? We, we got snacks. If you guys keep this up, I'm not separating more animals, okay? We already had this issue with the llama. If you're not friendly with the rest of the farm animals, you leave. Which means these guys are going to turn into bait. What do you want, marshmallows first? Yeah. You feeling that marshmallow grind? <laughs> he stayed up. Eat it. Oh, wait. Oh. Try the guy behind you, or is he eating it? How many put it oh, in, it's his, in mouth. his mouth? Oh, hey, eat it. Hey, stick it in the mouth. You're gonna like. Oh, yeah, he's eating it. Come on, buddy. You can do it. They like don't want to so bad. Yeah, this was happening last they can't time. They like can't resist it. You got it, buddy. This happened last Once time. they eat one, yeah. they're they're locked on. It's because they don't know what they are. You're telling me the guys that owned you didn't just feed you marshmallows all the time? You good, bro? <laughs> oh, is he going for it? Yeah, he's going for it. Yep. Damn. You guys are so picky. Oh, wait. Is he eating it? Yep. Yep. Munching? Yep. Gone. Was that good? Or what, buddy? Oh, wait, no, oh, it's, wait. it's just laying over there. Oh, you get it figured out? It's real complicated teaching pigs to eat marshmallows. Yeah. Oh, no, he's, oh, he's going at he's going yeah. to ground too. They think it's a sucker. Don't they think they're like, man, this is a Tootsie Pop. 
Hey, Dude, chill, chill, yeah. chill. Yeah, we're trying to get him diabetes. Relax. Hey, don't oh, fight this other one. one. Don't you fight? Hey, hey listen, I got another one for you. Talking to you. What, what else we got for him, Hooking? You think marshmallows uh, are a little too tough? Cupcake. They might not really know. Okay. I would do a, uh, vanilla would probably be safe. I feel like chocolate. You can get dangerous with animals. Yeah, I feel like so. Let's let's see what they like. A. Uh... Oh, he's gotta like the frosting. Oh, oh, come on, get you some of that. <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, get you some of that. You're making it look like he like killed something that's got blood all over him. Relax. Stop putting blood on their nose. Uh, oh. oh, he's licking it. <laughs> you got frosting on your nose, my guy. Yeah. Oh, I think he, I think he's figuring it out. He's eating the frosting. Yeah, I think he's eating the frosting. There we go. Now we got we got you a little food trough here. What else we got? Twinkies? Yeah. Oh, I, all right. I call I call half a Twinkie. There we go. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Really? You don't like them? You don't like Twinkies? I haven't had a Twinkie in like since I was like six. Eat the other half. Is it pig approved? Dude, they're incredible. Like they're so much better than. Looking sad on these. I'm, I'm aware. Okay. They're a little squished. They're so much better than you would they're think. They're better squished. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're good. Put it in the uh, put it in the dish and t probably take the cardboard off. Maybe yeah. our pigs are gonna love this. They're also gonna have diabetes, but they're gonna love them. Hey, quit fighting! Listen, the food's right here. Hey, you want an apple? What do you want, Rick? There's an apple. Dude, he's covered. Hooking. He looks like he he looks like he's left the slaughterhouse. Hooking. Yeah, you're gonna you gonna bathe our, our pigs, my guy, or what? Can they eat the peel? I bet they can eat the peel. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, she's a squirter. Oh hey, where's my butt? He's, he's, he's kinky. He's kinky boy. Eventually, these pigs are gonna warm up enough to where we can come down and pretty much feed them whatever, and they're gonna love it right now they just they don't know what they're getting right now they don't know what we're they think we're trying to kill them we're not we're just trying to hang out with them and uh like i said this is going to be their home for today tomorrow we'll get them transferred over so we'll we'll, we'll take you guys along with that so yeah, you guys can see the finished product um but for now we're just gonna oh, oh, oh is he eating it he bit into it he likes the apple oh oh, oh he likes the apple he, he's biting it into it mm. try giving him a slice you gonna cut it up or do you think he's got it yeah. See if he does it. Uh, Not, I'll slice it. Like see that. if you put yeah, it put it in the dish and see if he goes over there. Why? What do you? There's see? nothing under it. It's inside the dish. All right. So I'm gonna try to give them some real food. Obviously, that's what they're used to. Um, so we're gonna fill this dish up and see if they like it. Jennifer, this ain't for you. This is piglet food. Do you look like a piglet? Well, we're gonna test and see if these guys like water or not. A lot of people have like the, the nipples and stuff for pig feeders and waters, but this is all we got for now. Come on, Millie, go get the pigs. You go get them. You go get them. What are they doing back there? Who's the new animal on the farm? What's that? What is that? What is that? Millie is excited. We got her down here, but I was gonna show you guys the finished product. Our little pig pen, our temporary pig pen. We got heat lamps on each side. We got hay over here for basically just warmth. We got boards right here to pro basically protect them from the wind. We're gonna throw a little bit more shavings down there, refill their food and water for the night. And then tomorrow, we're hopefully gonna clean out that silo. Hopefully it's not like still hot and steamy and nasty to where we can get these guys in that tomorrow. So, is he snoring? What is he doing? I think he's sleeping. He's snoring. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! Well, folks, it's the next day. Uh, well, actually, it's been two. Is it doing two, two or three? Either way, it's been a couple days. Uh, the pigs are still chilling. They're still chilling in the trailer. Uh, we've given them food water. They've been they've been relaxing, heat lamps and whatnot. But uh, well, as you can tell, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. It just had this freak snow in the middle of the spring. I don't know what the deal was with it. But either way, we need to try and clean out the silo. It's cooled down now. It took a couple days for it to cool down. And uh, we got the tractor warming up right now. Hopefully, that's going to be the strat. We're not sure how hard it's going to be or how much stuff there's going to be to actually haul out of here. I'm hoping that we don't regret burning it. Uh, we do have some masks, gloves, and stuff so we don't breathe it all in. Uh, I guess, yeah, well, wish us luck. Definitely, uh, we're a little bit more susceptible to getting corona now. Our lungs are pretty much uh, KO'd. But hey, look at this. She is clean as a whistle, folks. We were gonna spray it down, but then I realized, well, it's a grain bin. There's no way for the water to drain. It's not bad in here. Like, there's not that much like soot and smoke, or whatever. We are gonna let this air out a little bit, though, um, and not have the pigs 
laying it right away. We've got the hatches open up there, so it's, it's there, but it's not that bad. Like you see Millie's in there, she's chilling, aren't you Millie? She's hanging out in there. It's really not that bad. So what we're gonna do is we are going to move the pigs over, set the electric fence up, um, but we are gonna cover this door for now so the pigs can't basically get inside. Let it air out for a little bit, throw some shavings in there and, uh, and call it good. So I'll pick the camera back up when the pigs are inside the pen. All right, come on, buddy. Get in your new home. Come on. <laughs> nope, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay, all right, all right, chill. What up, little piggies? How you guys doing? Look at them. Look at her wagging her sail. Oh, that one's peeing. There you go. Now you're getting it. Hey, so anyways, it's uh, it's been the next day. We we basically got her all figured out. This thing got burned up. It doesn't smell anymore. Look how clean it is. Look at this. Fresh shavings for these pigs. Come on, little piggy. You want to come see your house? This is where you guys get to sleep. You haven't seen it yet. You want to come in here? Come on, come check it out. You mean, if I brought some marshmallows in here, I bet you'd try it. They're thinking about it, but we got everything pretty much. Hey, easy, easy. You guys are sunburned. You better sit in the shade today. We got to get there. We got to get a hose. I'm just going to run a hose and it's basically just going to fill this up with mud and they can kind of splash around it since it's going to be nice and warm today. Um, but basically we have them in Rick's old pen, basically. I mean, it's just uh, it's a goat pen. So our, our idea is we're going to keep them in here for two weeks. Um, we have the electric fence hooked up and on they've hit it a couple times they're chilling they, they understand hey don't touch the fence melee you also should not touch the fence and uh basically what we're gonna do is after a couple weeks once once i'm confident that they're not gonna break through the fence i want to run fence way down there down there and up this is where the old owners kept some hogs so i know it's a good area because it's nice and shaded they can root it all up we don't really do anything with that space down there so basically they're just gonna chill it for a couple weeks two three weeks once i'm confident that they understand hey this fence will shock you don't blow right through it um and they understand like this place in and of itself is their home and maybe even get them trained on feet a little bit to where you know if i'm shaking feet around they come to me just like kind of some of these other animals but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video this video took like a week to film because they had to live in the trailer while we cleaned this out i would not recommend burning your hay it did go really fast it took us 20 minutes versus probably two hours but it stunk it smelled everything got gross and then we had to wait a couple days for it to air it out and wash it out and clean it out and whatever it was overall it ended up taking longer throughout the days but like manual labor hours it was a little bit less i would just say next time shovel it all out bite the bullet take the extra couple hours and you don't have to deal with all the nastiness but anyways we got two pigs you guys need to name them down below one's a boy one's a girl we don't really care here because you know it's 2020 so you guys name them whatever you want pink one and black pink gray looking one and uh, comment them down below we'll pick them and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and peace